Alright, welcome back everybody to Let's Play Resident Evil. Let's play some Resident Evil. Okay. Open this door. Let's go and explore, actually. Let's go get new clothes, like I said I was gonna do last time, and then I found the chemical and a bunch of herbs. Kinda ruined that plan. <sighs> it's so nice to be at this point in the game where you can still fight things. Trust me, <laughs> that isn't going to hold. Eventually, fighting isn't something we're going to be able to do anymore. Yes, I have. It's basically already something we can't do anymore. Hi, guys. How you doing, buddies? Cool. Oh, boy. The desk is locked. Will you use the lockpick? Of course I will! Yay! Stuff that lets me run by these guys. Oh my god! No! No! I'm locked into, locked into death! That sucked. I was doing so good. Oh, well, I'm all the way back here. I thought I hit the save state button earlier than that. I was doing so good right there, too. Now I gotta go all the way back. That's stupid. There's a clip and shotgun shells in that room. That's super awesome. Guess I could use the shotgun to take care of that one. That way I don't have to deal with him. My dodge skills are not up to not up to par. Not in the original PS1 one, one, ones. In the remake of one. Um, it's much easier to dodge things for some reason. Wait, it's this way. I don't actually know why either. It's just much easier. All right, save state button. Let's do this. Run straight by. Get that clip. Run this way. Oh my god, he's a super zombie this time around. Desk is locked. Will I use the lockpick? Yes, I will. Will I open that and get some shotgun shells? Most definitely. Will I now get eaten to death? Probably. Yep. I'm dead. Okay, so. New plan. I will take that clip. Then, I will equip the shotgun. Then, I will run this way. And open this desk. It gives me some shotgun shells. I should really actually save my shotgun shells. And... Oh, come on! At least fall over! That was way too many pistol bullets. I had to use nine pistol bullets just to get by those two. New plan. One shotgun shell for seven. That's what we're gonna do here. How am I gonna do that, you ask? Oh my god! Super zombies are so freaking annoying! I can't take damage in this room. Can't. It's too easy of a room, really. So 
unfortunate that I have the pistol equipped right now. Oh. Okay. My bullets didn't even hit him. I don't know why. But they definitely didn't even hit him. Alright. Alright. If I have to use the shotgun to get out of here without taking any damage, I will. What the heck? I press the shoot button and she doesn't shoot. Stupid. Stupid, I tell you. Come on now, game. Spending so long in this room just because I'm freaking bad. Take it back. I'm not very good at Resident Evil. I can't even get through this room without taking very much damage. Screw you. There. State save. Lock. No, nope, screw you. You are the only zombie in this room. I will take that green herb, yes. Then I will go in here. This room is cool. Yeah. Costumes everywhere. What is this? Sure. Just a moment, please, while Jill changes her clothes. In the middle of a zombie apocalypse. Don't mind her. Back room of a mansion. There's a zipper. Why are you opening the door for me? What? What is this outfit? She's like, I'm just like a general girl. Don't mind me. It does not fit. It does not fit. That's Chris's original outfit. This is her original outfit, and it's what we're going to go with because I'm not going to wear that. <laughs> just a moment. She's changing her clothes again. Give her a second. Zipper. Done. A lot of zippers on her clothes. Alright. There's a zombie in this room who might make a further searching of this room kind of difficult. Nothing major. Okay, never mind. He's not making anything difficult. An ink ribbon. Swear to God, I get caught by a zombie for an ink ribbon. I'm going to go ballistic. Oh, Ow, God damn it. Let me out. Probably in danger. Aren't I? Yes. Well, that's fine. Got two herbs out of the deal. Bunch of shotgun shells. Okay, so. I know where I, where I need to go and what I need to do here. I just need to remember where it is. Right! That's where it is. Let's go! We don't have the emblem. Which really is okay. But we have the chemical. And with the chemical, we can do more stuff. Plus get an item out of our inventory. Of course, I think there's way too many herbs in that room. And we're just gonna fill our inventory like immediately with herbs. Going where I'm going right now. But hey, what can you do? Not much is the answer. F1. And run by. See a zombie. Oh my god. Oh. Darn it. 
crap. See ya, zombies. Oh my god. Oh, I'm dead. Ah! Alright. So I do have to kill him. Besides, it'll be really hard to get back out of here past these two zombies if I don't. Let's go ahead and just do that. I know, another shotgun shell. But if you look at it from my perspective, another shotgun shell, another zombie. Yeah, way, way too many herbs in this room. Oh my god, more tentacles! We didn't even get to be tentacles in life. Our life goal is not complete. <laughs> Sucks to be you. Look at all of these herbs. Look at them all. Can you take the red herb? Sure. Will you mix the herbs? Of course. I wouldn't tell you to do it if I didn't want you to. Take the red herb? Of course I will. Will you take the green herb? Of course I will. Will I use that green herb? Yes. Will I take this green herb? Yes. Oh, there's two green herbs in here I can't carry. It's a local herb. Will you mix the herbs? Yes. It's okay, I got the important herbs. And the sun crest. Cool. There's two green herbs in here, and oh well. Really, when it comes down to it, that's really all there is to say about that. It is oh well. Run straight by them. Let them sit there and wander around in their zombie like manner. Use the mansion key. In we go. We're right next to a storage room, so if there's something in here I can't carry, I can go to a storage room really fast. There's a lot of stuff in here. There's a magnum in here. Ooh. Magnum. The desk is locked. Will you use the lockpick? Of course. Shotgun shells. We will grab those. And then there's a magnum in here, which I can't carry right now. We will fix this. Don't worry. We'll run by the dog. And into a pillar, and then get bit. And then get bit again. And probably be, like, about to die now, and really should just kind of do this. Oh, look, the door looks almost the same. Oh my god. Come on, let's not do that. Bad dog. Much better. Am I abusing save states? Yes. Do I care? No. I don't. Okay, did a little bit of uh, inventory management as well, you may notice. It's kind of easy to do this kind of inventory management. Not that hard. Alright. Um, I'm gonna combine my shotgun with those shells, and then I'm going to put the shells away. I actually might put the shot no, because I don't want to use the magnum on accident on anything, no matter what. So let's go ahead and put it up here with the rest of the guns. I actually have a good amount of pistol rounds now, though. Hmm. I only have nine shells. Let's see. No, I'm gonna keep the shotgun on me. I don't see much of a reason to not keep the shotgun on me. Let's go get that magnum.
No, get in the room. Thank you. I gotta get back by them again. So many getting around these freaking dogs. So many times. Will I take the Colt Python? Hells yeah. Turn the light on there. There we go. All right, sit back down. Check the Colt Python out. Look at that. Look at that gun. Fully loaded. At least we can assume it is. Magnum rounds loaded. Okay. I guess that's all you have to say about it. Okay. Is there anything else you can load it with or something? Is the Colt Python combinable with a standard with standard bullets? That'd be kind of neat. Ow! Mean little dog, you! How dare you bite me? Bit of damage. It's acceptable. It's not. Top of my that's not okay. I found a zombie. I'm gonna shoot you. I don't wanna deal with you. Die. No. Die. Thank you. Carving of a helmet. Well darn. Let's go this way. A key panel. I don't know the pass number. I get that. I don't know the pass number. Thanks. I'm leaving now. Okay, we need to find more armor key doors. Which is just kind of a matter of retracing our steps and going to doors that we haven't been able to go to. I'm trying to find. Oh, okay, the second floor will definitely do. There were a lot of them on the second floor, if I remember right. Just on the other side of the second floor, which is where we're headed now. I need to go, yeah, just across this way. All the armor key doors are on this side of the mansion, aren't they? I almost called it a dungeon. <laughs> All the armor key doors are on this side of the dungeon. Like it's Zelda or something. Okay, we don't want to go in that door yet. I know it's an armor key door, but we don't want to go in there yet. Trust me, we don't. Okay, this puzzle. This puzzle is simple. Push this over that. Now come over here. Push this one. Over that. Now. There's a switch. Will you push it? Yes. Now that opens. If you don't push these statues over those vents, poisonous gas comes out, this doesn't open, and you die. Yeah, but luckily, I wasn't stupid. Oh, there's a button here and a bunch of statues. I wonder what those are about. Let's just push the button. Oh god, we're dead. Yeah, not doing that. Alright, we have the emblem. However, I think I still want to go this way. There's a storage container near here, so... It'll be helpful anyways, because I think this is also an armor key door, isn't it? Yes, it is. Pretty soon, that armor key is going to be useless. And it'll ask us if we want to toss it. The answer at that point will be yes. We do. It's over here. Oh my god, a zombie. How are you, zombie? Let's save state. What's on top of this? A lighter. Chris has one of those from the beginning. It's his basic item. It's back here. More ammo. Thank you. Anything in between the beds? Oh, we're out of time. 
Well, how silly. A red herb here. Good thing we're near a uh, storage cabinet, huh? I don't want to stop playing Resident Evil, dude. Oh my god! What's on this side? Check this room and then we'll call it a video. This looks very manipulatable. So does this. What is this? It's too heavy to move. Okay, well we need to uh, empty it. something at the back of the shelf. Yes, there is. Something at the back of the shelf. Okay, well, I failed that puzzle. Nothing special. Except for the researcher's will. My dear Alma, the fact that you have received this letter is both a joy and a sadness for me. I could not even talk to you because of the guy in the sunglasses. The guy in the sunglasses? Alma, be careful and read this. I think I've told you that I moved to a pharmaceutical company's lab. They headhunted me. Headhunted. That seems kind of scary. Alright. Last month, there was an accident in the lab, and the virus we were studying escaped. Ah, everybody's a zombie now. All my co colleagues who were infected by the virus are dead. Be accurate, they become the living dead. They still wander around. Some of them are knocking on my room door desperately right now, but there's no sign of intelligence in their eyes. That cursed virus takes away all humanity from the human brain. Love, joy, sorrow, fear, humor, eternally. And Alma, even the memories of the days I spent with you. Yes, I'm infected. I did everything I could, but I could only delay the progress by a few days. The most frightening thing is that I forget more about you by the day. So I chose a peaceful death rather than becoming the living dead. Within an hour, I will have entered my eternal sleep. I do hope you'll understand my decision. Goodbye and forever yours, Martin Crackhorn. Researcher's will has been filed. Well, good for you, buddy. That drained. Too bad I failed the pushing puzzle already. Because exiting and entering a room resets the position of everything. Now I can push that aside. And push this all the way over. In order to get Something we can't carry. Crap. Kind of forgot about that small problem. Well, when we come back, dropping off our stuff and coming back up here to get a half of a broken crest. What happens, it happens. See you all then.